Hey guys, this is Brad Zaruba with RES Luxury Group of EXP Realty, and today I am coming to you from 5319 West Buckskin Drive in Pine Ridge. Uh, this home, I'm very excited to bring you this home. Uh, it's on a corner lot, 1.43 acres. Uh, it's got tons of upgrades to it. Um, the home uh, is uh, vacant and ready to go. And it's what I consider and what I like to call a traditional Florida style home. It's got um, six doors out to the pool deck. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, just from the outside here, the roof is 2013. The home has been uh, painted in the last couple of years, not sure the date exactly. And the air conditioner was installed in 2020. So uh, you can see you've got a nice turnaround area here. And I'll give you a pan around the front. Nice uh, landscaping to create some privacy for your front yard. And uh, just everything about this house. I even I, I love the layout. Can't wait to get, get inside. So as we come around the front, uh, our lanai entry is uh, completely screened in, which is a great feature if you've got pets or you just want to keep bugs out. We've got some indoor-outdoor carpet and totally screened in. Nice heavy uh, door here to the front so you don't have to have your front door open. And uh, here we are, welcome to your new home. So, as you can see, we enter right into the living room. And the first thing you notice is that big pool out back. That pool I'll tell you about in just a second. So, off to our right, we've got the split floor plan with the uh, guest rooms, dining, and kitchen, laundry and garage. And then, of course, we have a really nice sized living room. And if you look up above there, uh, we've got some transom windows over, which create kind of like that A-frame uh, feel. And as I'm sure you noticed, we've got some uh, wood accents for trim and doors, which I'm just a, a huge fan of. A tiled uh, walkway over to the master suite and we'll go check that out first. So really good sized uh, master suite. You can see there that there's a, a door out to the pool deck. Uh, vaulted ceilings in here. Um, there is this huge cutout for an office nook or if you wanted a sitting area. Whatever you'd like and of course you've got a really nice private view out of the window there. And then as we uh, come around, I'm going to show you up top, uh, on both sides of this wall there are plant shelves. And as you can see, there's actually a light switch up there, so you can put some nice decor or uh, plant matter if you want. Off to this side, I'll uh, get in the bathroom first. You can see straight away we've got a soaking tub with a nice window that views out to the pool deck. As we come in here, we have a double vanity. And then there is a standalone shower, and then you've got your toilet there as well. And also a nice feature, we've got a door out to uh, the pool deck, and we do have the blinds that close internally uh, if you so want. So uh, that's nice for privacy. So that bathroom could be utilized as you know the, the main bathroom or as a pool bath if you need. In here, we'll peek in here. Uh, we've got a huge walk-in closet. Plenty of room for uh, everyone's clothes, really. Uh, nice feature of this home, every bedroom has a walk-in closet. So you've got this nice flow out to the pool deck. You've got plenty of storage for everybody that lives in the home. Uh, some really, really nice features here. So now we will head over to the other wing. I'd like to point out we do have a hall closet there for coat storage. Not that you need coats, so you might want to use it for something else. Uh, and then of course, here's the dining room. Large size dining room. Uh, you've got a, a countertop slash breakfast bar to sit at and eat at. Um, and then you've got this really cute kitchen with a pantry to the side, a refrigerator nook, and a window right by the sink. So this kitchen just has a really good flow to it and it's uh, very spacious um, for everybody to be in and cook at the same time. 
So, and of course, off of the dining room, this space could be a, kind of a, a swing space. You can use it for multiple things. Um, there's also a door out to the lanai. And down this hallway, we've got a bathroom on the left, bedroom on the right, and then straight ahead, we have another guest bedroom. So this is a three bedroom, two bath home. Pop in here, it's a good size room. All of the windows in this home are double paned, including the doors. And I'll get you into this closet as well. So, good sized guest room. The bathroom right across the way has that same uh, blind system in the door. Uh, this one is a single vanity. And then nice feature on this one, this was truly the pool bath uh, because you've got a pocket door right here that separates the toilet and the shower room. And you even have a window in the toilet room. So um, lots of light in this home. It's very bright compared to many homes uh, down here in Florida. So our last guest room also has a slider out to the pool. So your company has a quick way out to, uh, to the pool entertainment area. It's awesome. Over here, we've got another walk-in closet. And this bedroom, for example, has two twin beds and a dresser just to give you a sense of, of the space. So we're going to head back over. Uh, I know you want to get out to that pool, but we're going to get uh, over to the garage and the laundry room first, check out the rest of the inside. So heading over here, uh, there is a door that separates the laundry space. Um, there is a wash basin, uh, your laundry, and then you have a door to the exterior. Uh, which is awesome if you're out working in the yard. You know, you've got tile here. The tile's in really good condition, so you don't have to make a muck of everything around the house. And then we enter into a two-car garage. It's a little cluttered right now. Uh, they're in the process of uh, moving out. So the uh, air handler was replaced in 2020 as well with the air conditioner. Uh, the water heater is newer. Um, so that's not going to be needing to be replaced anytime soon. Uh, you can see we have two windows in the garage as well, and this is a two-car garage. So I'll kind of pan you around here. There's some uh, extra storage in here. There is a fixed uh, indoor-outdoor carpet you can kind of see under this space. It does have the carpet trim around it. This was used as a gym space, but if you wanted to park your car, you've got a nice uh, catch for any uh, potential car fluids, which will keep your garage floor looking nice for years to come. All right. The layout of this house is really just, just great. Perfect split floor plan. In the uh, winter and fall and spring, you can open all of these doors up and really have nice breeze and good flow to the entire space. So this pool has been resurfaced. Uh, it's in excellent condition and it is a 20 by 40. Uh, it's a huge pool uh, that we've got a seat over on the side. This shallow area is actually really nice and big so if you have children or if you just kind of want to wade and hang out there's tons of shallow space. So we've got uh, a door to the exterior on that side, as well as your pool pump and exterior there. All right, this home does have gutters and downspouts all the way around as well, I'd like to point out. Here we've got the makings for a little summer kitchen. You've got uh, plumbing for a sink. There's space to put in a, a little mini fridge if you'd like. And then I'm just gonna kind of pan around and give you the tour here. The ceiling in this space, I'll pan you up, is a vinyl lap, so you never have to worry about those drywall seams. Uh, very, very handy and easy to clean. Once more, every time I do these videos, it is so hot out here, all I can think about doing is getting in that pool. So as you can see, we're gonna head out back now. Like I said, this is 1.43 acres, so you've got tons of natural setting in the background that creates a really nice buffer uh, between you and your neighbors. So, beautiful private lot. I'll show you the outside here. The home does have a uh, concrete uh, edging around the beds, and it kind of wraps the entire house. 
So we've got mulch in here right now. Uh, nice, crisp, and clean. And then as you can see, we just have real natural vegetation. I do want to kind of get you over here and show you the shed. This is a 100% uh, cedar shed, which uh, you can actually smell the cedar as we open the doors. It was just pressure washed and cleaned as well. And it's really a, a good looking building for all of your yard equipment or any additional storage. Here we go. I love that smell. All right, so uh, once more, my name is Brad Zaruba with uh, EXP Realty, RES Luxury Group, and uh, you can either find us um, at resluxurygroup.com and there's additional information and links to the property, or feel free to give me a call at area code 206-913-7505. Look forward to showing you guys this house in person and, and talking to you then. Thanks a lot.